Hey everybody, hard to believe it's already February 1st. This is Coach Christian and Coach Cynthia, and we are also known as your Fit Prescription Pros. Guys, today our mission is to share with you how to protect your lower back during abdominal exercises. It's not uncommon that our online coaching clients will mention that when they're doing decline sit-ups or leg raises, they're getting some discomfort in the lower back. And this is always for the same darn reason, team. Uh, People are not maintaining what's called a neutral spine. You'll see Coach Cynthia here demonstrating how not to do a decline sit-up. Notice the heavy arching on the lower back. Her spine is leaving what's called a neutral position. She's not keeping her rib cage cinched down tight toward her pelvis. That's bad, bad, bad for the lower back. So let me show you guys how to correct that. All you've got to do is try to hinge only at the hip and do not open scissors. Do not open up the distance between your rib cage and your pelvis. You want to keep your abdominals braced tight as you go back on your decline sit-ups. This is going to allow you to maintain what's called hollow body hold. This is the first thing they teach a young gymnast before they even allow them to tumble. How to keep your abdominal region braced throughout intense activity. This also has great carryover to regular exercise, especially abdominal work in particular. Here you can see how not to do a lying leg raise. Again, we've got heavy arching under the back. The spine is leaving neutral position. She has let go of her hollow body hold. Again, the rib cage and pelvis opening up that gap. Not a good thing. Got to keep the rib cage cinched down tight. Keep the abdominals braced. Here's the correct way to execute those leg raises. You want to push your lower back hard into the floor. Pretend you've got an egg under your lower back and you're trying to smash that egg into the floor with your lower back. If you can maintain this position, you'll get so much more value out of your abdominal exercises. You'll protect that lower back. There'll be no chance of herniating any lower discs or doing any kind of lower disc damage. So we hope this has a great carryover for you guys into your workouts. Cynthia and Christian, the Fit Prescription Pros, signing out. We'll be back again next week with a new tip for you guys. Have a good one.